Storm Tracker 13's Abby Oconee now checking out that forecast. I'm seeing a lot of sunshine out there now. A lot of sunshine out there. Thankfully, this incoming storm, you know, over the past 12 to 24 hours really did bring some much needed moisture, especially because areas within southern Colorado really dealing with some drought that continues across the region. And now I do want to show you a current view of what your live HD Doppler radar looks like. A very calm picture. Storm dropping south. So really we don't have anything to worry about in terms of rain or snow throughout the rest of the day. That is unless you're headed to the mountain locations. And in that case I would check road conditions before you head that direction. But in the lower terrain really pretty dry. We'll continue to stick with dry conditions throughout the remainder of the day and through tomorrow. Right now temperature on the chilly side, though, in the wake of the cold front, lower 40s in Colorado Springs, mid 40s for Pueblo, 30s, 40s, eastern plains, and also the 20s and 30s for the mountains and the mountain valley. So definitely jacket worthy as you head out this afternoon, and will be pretty chilly for those of you who are um, out to walk the dog later on tonight. Wind speeds are breezy in the eastern plains, but outside of that, we're actually staying pretty calm. 13 mile per hour winds in Pueblo, so you'll definitely notice that as you head outside. Here's a look at Skycast. Skycast. Right around a quarter after one, indicating some clouds, still even some remnant flurries in the area. I'm saying we'll mostly stay pretty dry, although we can't rule out an isolated little flurry or sprinkle here or there. But we'll really start to clear out later on this afternoon and during the overnight hours as well. Mostly clear skies and tomorrow looking pretty sunny as well. So that is something to look forward to. Overnight lows dipping into the teens and the 20s. It will be very cool across the region. So bundle up tomorrow morning as you are heading off to work or school. And we are tracking the teens and the 20s in the southeastern plains as well as the single digits through the 20s for the mountains and the mountain valleys. Here's your travel tracker. I want to give you a good idea of what the next several days looks like, especially because we're dealing with a holiday weekend, three day weekend, Monday though. That that looks to be the next opportunity for rain slash snow lingering through Tuesday. That means Rachel Plath will be monitoring later on tonight the exact timing of that storm. She'll be getting an updated batch of information that can help us determine the exact timing. Because again, I know many of you might be traveling or you know heading up to the slopes, that kind of thing. Here's a look at that seven day in Colorado Springs specifically. 56 degrees tomorrow, followed by the mid 50s Friday with more clouds, and then clearing even further on Saturday. 60 degrees on Valentine's. Valentine's Day, not bad at all. What did you call this, John? A sweetheart of a forecast. Temperatures on Sunday drops just a bit, and then we are tracking the mid 30s by Tuesday with some of that clearing on Wednesday. Over to Pueblo we go. 60, what we're reaching on Thursday as well as Friday. We're tracking 63 degrees by Saturday. Overnight temperatures are pretty comfortable at times, teens through the 30s, and then that rain and snow mix possible Monday through Tuesday. Over to Canyon City, 62 Thursday's high, 61 Friday. Again, some added clouds, but overall pretty comfortable, especially for this time of year. We'll drop to the lower 50s, even the 40s by Monday and Tuesday, but again, some of that sunshine on Wednesday. And finally, for Teller County, 49 is your high tomorrow, and then tracking the mid 30s by Tuesday. Coming up, I will. Have your evening planner, as I know many of you wanting to know when to walk Daisy or Gabby. <laughs> it's just nice looking ahead of the weekend, Valentine's Day. Right. It's not often you can think about living in Colorado in February on a Valentine's Day and getting outside. Isn't that lovely? It's lovely. It's gonna be we'll great. take it. Yep. Might, might have to head to Loveland on Sunday. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> yep. Well, there's some.